most of Ghana's population are into growing crops and rearing animals. However, we find a deficiency in food security and thus struggle to meet the demand of the international market. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, in its quest to address societal issues, has the Faculty of Agriculture under the College of Agriculture and Renewable Natural Resources. The faculty has four critical departments. The Department of Crop and Soil Sciences, Animal Science, Horticulture as well as Agricultural Economics, Agribusiness and Extension. These departments are endowed with seasoned professionals who make meaningful contributions to agriculture in Africa through training one of the most sought-after students in the country. The Faculty of Agriculture here University actually started as a, a diploma awarding uh, an, an entity. It, it all started in 1953. By 61, it was converted from the diploma to a three-year degree award. <laughs> award. And in 68, 1968, I mean, it was upgraded from a three-year to a four-year. And it's been running since then. Um, we, we started with the main ag agriculture, but in 2005, the post harvest technology degree program was introduced. And in 2008, four more programs were introduced. That is the landscape and uh, design management, the agri-business management, agricultural biotechnology program, and the dairy and meat science and technology program. So uh, at the moment, these are the, the programs we are running at the un undergrad. At the <laughs> postgraduate level, we, we have an array of them, about <laughs> 37 in number, and they span the whole uh, disciplinary stretch of uh, agriculture. An animals, animal science, <laughs> crop science, the various uh, specific disciplines of it, horticulture, uh, agri-economics, ag agribusiness, and uh, we, we intend to improve on, 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 on the number as and when societal demands come up and then the, the demand to run the program makes it possible. The basic entry requirements for the undergrad uh, that you have to have English and, and maths and then chemistry and then uh, the f either, either be biology, general agriculture, crop husbandry, animal husbandry, any, any other f related science subject can come on board as the fourth but it is chemistry, English and maths which are emphasized. For the postgraduate ones, you need a minimum of a second class lower for you to be admitted. If you have a pass and uh, there's every reason based on your work experience for you to be given the opportunity, you are called for an interview and then you are um, given that uh, opportunity and then that normally runs for the distance program which is on, on a, a part-time basis that one is basically meant for those who are employed and, 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 and cannot work or, or cannot study full-time but for the full-time you have to have a lower among the facilities of the faculty are well-equipped ultra modern labs research stations hatcheries as well as greenhouses which aid in the teaching processes. There are scholarships being offered by the university itself the university is trying to use its MEGA uh, IGF to set up some scholarship funds for uh, 
needy but brilliant students to, to access. And then there, there are some foundations like the MasterCard, which has given the, the, the investor $20 million to uh, help train needy but brilliant students. Now, there are other funding agencies like uh, the Alliance for a Green Revolution. They've, they've, they've also, they are also sponsoring students in some aspects of agriculture. And so, by, by and large, depending on the, the area of study where the international community is interested, monies are released to train people in that area. Yes, so there are uh, scholarships available and then they are doing very well. The Department of Crop and Soil Sciences, Animal Science, Horticulture as well as Agricultural Economics, Agribusiness and Extension. These departments are endowed with seasoned professionals who make meaningful contributions to agriculture in Africa through training one of the most sought-after students in the country. Our students are normally uh, employed in the, in the general areas of employment like the ministries, in the private sector, uh, in the research institutions, and, and in the universities itself. So because our, our students don't quite sit at home, it, it is also uh, an incentive. That's why the, the enrol enrollment uh, keeps increasing. So some al alumni of the faculty have been, uh, have been of tremendous assistance. Uh, if, if we approach them and, and, and tell them our needs, they are, they are able to support us in cash and, and in kind. Uh, strategic partners, yes, I will say because uh, in, in, in the field of agriculture, uh, we, are, we are into serious collaboration with uh, international organizations like the Food and Agricultural Organization, the USAID, the Alliance for a, a Green Revolution, uh, the World Food Program, and uh, locally with, with, with the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, with the Ministry of Environment, Science and Technology, with CSR as a, uh, a sister research uh, institution. Yes, so, so by and large, we are, we are into uh, networks and, and collaborations and partnerships with, with uh, these organizations. The, the, the uniqueness of the faculty stems from the programs we, we offer. Uh, we tend to make it industry oriented so that when the students graduate, they don't just go out there look, looking for anything at all. And, and again, because we are in uh, constant touch with industry, we are, we are able to uh, know what their, their needs are and tailor the training to fit those, those needs. So by, by the strong link with industry, we are, we are, we, we are always on top.